Hello everyone and welcome to the webinar. I'm your presenter Akriti Jain from meetuniversity.com and today we are here to discuss career opportunities and scope of economics. Economics as we all know is a social science that describes the factors that determine the production, distribution and consumption of goods and services. The two major veins of economics are microeconomics and macroeconomics. Microeconomics look at the behavior and interaction of individual agents such as household, companies, buyers and sellers, whereas macroeconomics analyzes entire economies on the national or global scale, looking at issues such as unemployment, inflation, economy, growth and monetary and fiscal policy. There are various specializations in economics, ranging from development economics, organizational behavior, labor economics, science economics, urban economics, information economics, education economics, growth economics, experimental economics, regulation economics, economics of tax policy, game theory. Apart from these common subjects, there are other economic topics you may choose to specialize in, which include agricultural economics, contemporary economic issues, crime economics, economic forecasting, health economics, industrial economics, international economics, managerial economics, natural resource economics, etc. Now, the question arises if the economic degrees are worth it. Ideally, economic degrees are typically taught as a mixture of lectures and seminars with written assignments to be submitted to seminar tutors. Depending on the institution, your grades may be determined by examination, through coursework assignments or through project support. Economic degrees can come in BA or BSc form. The latter are likely to focus more on mathematics statistical theory and techniques for the application of mathematics and economic theory. While a BA in economics will still involve some mathematics but usually combined with more qualitative modules sometimes in related to social sciences such as sociology and psychology. Top destination for studying economics include US. US claims 54 of the world's best universities of economics in the year's ranking almost a quarter of all schools featured. Also in the top 50 are Columbia University, University of Pennsylvania, New York University, University of California at Los Angeles, Northwestern University, University of California at San Diego, University of Michigan, Duke University, Cornell University, Boston University, Brown University, University of Minnesota, California Institute of Technology, Carnegie Mellon University, etc. Canada boasts 11 of the top economic schools including University of Toronto, University of British Columbia, McGill University, etc. Now moving on to Europe, the United Kingdom is home to 24 of the world's top 200 universities for economics, with 10 of these within top 100. In addition to the three UK entries in the top 10, the top 50 features University College London, London Business School, University of Warwick, etc. Germany offers nine top economic schools. Eight of the world's best schools are located in Netherlands, with five schools featured in Sweden. Each of the two offerings are in Austria, Denmark, Ireland. Six more European countries featured in the economic ranking are Czech Republic, Finland, Greece, Hungary, Norway, and Russia. Moving on to Asia, Asia claims 22 of the world's best economic schools led by Japan. Mainland China is also close behind with six of the world's top economic schools. Malaysia and Taiwan each have one representative. Heading to Middle East, Israel offers two of the best, best economic schools. Now, looking at the career prospects for economics, economics is an expensive field. Now, it's a, it is usual to graduate from your economic degree with a broad set of transferable skills that put you in a good employment state. Whether you want to pursue specific economic careers or take a broader approach. While being a professional economist might be the number one choice for most uh, of the students who are passionate about the subject, there are several other economic related and economic friendly careers to choose from. If we are looking for the salary package, according to statistics, economists earn on an average $101,450 annually. For research analysts, the salary range is $37,709 to 85113 for business analysts, it is 39,166 to 72,533. And for data analysts, it is 36,552 to 76,243. An economist is someone who researches and analyzes economic trends, issues, and data and produces forecasts and reports from an economic perspective. 
they may then use this information as a basis of advising clients such as companies, financial institutions and public bodies so they can form economic policies and strategies. After studying economics, you can pursue careers like economic consultancy career. Consultants are hired on case-by-case -case basis to analyze the organization's economic status and propose plans to help improve and change the existing program. You can also look for careers in banking. Banking careers are very common among economic students, offering scope of high earning and high demand for economics. Graduates with a background of economics are particularly valued for roles in financial control, financial planning, risk analysis, data analysis, and consultancy. You can also look for financial analyst careers. A variety of different roles fall within the category of financial analyst, all based on being able to research and analyze financial information and present this information to help various clients and managers make decisions. You can look for accountancy careers as well. Uh, it could involve financial reporting, taxation, auditing, financial accounting, corporate finance, business recovery and insolvency and accounting system and processes. Then uh, we can look for statistician careers. If you enjoyed your mathematic modules, you might be interested in statistician career. You'll use mathematical techniques and software to collect, analyze and interpret data and communicate the results to your client. Other economic careers uh, include roles in auditing, business intelligence, economic planning, insurance, international development, management, market research, party reduction, retail merchandising, statistics, social research, tax, human resource management, information technology, journalism and mass communication, law, public relations, politics, sales or entrepreneurship. With this note, I'll just end this presentation now. Hope the information provided is useful to you. I wish you all the best.